show you my room. Disclaimer, it's sad, okay? But today is the day I changed that. I will show you the before right now and at the end of the video, the after, because I do plan on cleaning it today. A lot of organization happening today. Dirty clothes, stuff that needs to go over recycling. Uh, this pile of this and clothes to donate. I mean, I kind of fixed it inside of my closet so I could get stuff to donate. And this pile of sheets and blankets that I really need to fix. So you can see what the weather's like right now. And I have traveled in this weather. You can barely see the sky. I have traveled in this weather to donate a couple of bags of clothing, you know, jackets and stuff that have been in my closet. They're no good to me. They're, they're either too big for me, they're never gonna fit my mom. And like, they have holes in them because, you know, they've been in the closet for so long that, you know, rats have, um, I mean, I washed them first, but rats have like eaten at them and made a home in them. So I washed them and then I put them in the bag so I can donate them. But as predicted, my mom was very adamant on, oh, you gotta let me see it because it's my stuff. No, 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 it was in my closet, it was my stuff. <sighs> she has a very hard time of letting things go. It's very frustrating, but that's what you gotta deal with when you have a hoarder and a minimalist in the same household. It's very difficult. She wanted me to keep all of this, even though that there's holes in them and that it's stained with like, you know, I'm not gonna put it lightly, brat piss. Um, you know, I don't get it. She was literally arguing with me for half an hour while I was all dressed up in a hot apartment because for a couple hours in the day they blast the heat and then they turn it off at night, which is ridiculous. But then I had to go outside in that, sweating. It's not great. So half an hour we were arguing, and so I'm sweating because of this. Probably gonna get even more sick after this. But other than that, like, why would you keep a jacket that's not salvageable, okay? You know? A jacket that has holes in it, okay? I have so many more jackets that I can wear. The one I'm wearing is really warm, okay? And layers, layers. That, that's, that's what you need in cold weather like this. If the jacket has holes, you know, eaten through by you know, mice, rats, whatever, you know, you're not gonna wear it out in the cold like this because the cold is gonna go through. The rest of the jacket's gonna make you sweat and the cold that's gonna go through is gonna, you know, hit you in the chest and you're gonna get sick, you're gonna get pneumonia, you know, you know maybe worse. Think about it, you gotta be logical. But no, hoarding is an addiction and I understand that, I recognize that, but It's just, you know, I know she can't see the logic because she holds every item with, a, with strong emotion, even if it's very useless and very garbage. It's very frustrating for me. It causes a lot of anxiety. She tells, she tells me not to talk to her about cleaning all of the stuff that she's hoarding which is in the majority of apartment, all my stuff is in my room, plus some of her stuff. And then in the rest of the apartment, her stuff. And it's piled up. 
She tells me not to talk to her about it until I organize my room, and then when I want to organize my room, she doesn't want me to. I think she doesn't want me to actually organize my room because then I am committing to what she said, and then I have the opportunity to talk to her about organizing the rest of her stuff. Yes, back to cleaning. At least the rest of the cleaning in my room is uh, done inside. I don't have to deal with going outside again, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna try to explain my side of things and apologize to my mom for not seeing her side. I was upset when we were arguing while just before I had to leave because I was, you know, I was upset that a lot of the stuff that was in the closet for such a long time, you know, stuff I planned on wearing to, you know, nice events and I actually cleared out my closet uh, a couple days ago. That's when I did it and went through things to see what I could keep. And it was very emotional. Um, things that I wanted to keep that I, I knew just I couldn't. And I, I cried and you know, I had, I had plans for those clothes. Obviously, I, I couldn't use them. I had to make sure that I have my protein shake. I mean it's a whole blender full of shake. I drank most of it already. But what did I put? I put one lemon, I put one apple, I put a bunch of bananas, I put uh, four servings of my Vega protein. Uh, two were the sport and two were the regular and then I added garlic as well and did I mention cilantro I don't know if I mentioned cilantro yeah and that's pretty much it and I blended it all up obviously I had water to help it win but yeah there you go look at it it's yummy it's only 12.51 and you can probably already hear in my voice I'm already tired but that's because I haven't like had my shake yet. I just started having my shake like five minutes ago so hopefully that energy you know gets absorbed soon so that I can finish laundry and finish organizing my room. So that would be nice. Look at my progress. Clean bed. I mean, Debbie's already sleeping on it, but at least it's clean now. Garbage is gone from here. Desk is mostly organized. Those are just sweaters that I'm just taking a break before I hang them. You know, this laundry is done for like completely for once in months and I'm starting to work on some recycling stuff that I've left around so I'm gonna put that in there and just work on organizing have my fan on so that I can feel better but to be fair I have been up since 10 o'clock last night and it's not even 5 yet it's 4 45 in the evening in the afternoon whatever so I have been up for a lot of hours and you can clearly see that I'm tired but I am proud of the work that I've done I took a shower while I was waiting for the last load of stuff to dry in the dryer and that was much needed because I was so sweaty looks like I'm not gonna finish everything in one day as I hoped but you know gotta be realistic and at least I got the majority of the physical aspect out of the way so that I can actually, you know, have energy to do the rest of the organizing. 
that I'll finish tomorrow. Hi, Debbie. This looks much better, doesn't it? So much more organized. Hi, Zina. Hi, Zina. You ready to go outside? You ready to go outside? No. Do you want to go outside? You do? Okay. We're going outside. And we can come back to the clean room now. Yay. Look how happy she is. Yay. Yay. <laughs> now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels, my health channel, my comedy channel, and my gaming channel. My health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.